And now, what you've all been waiting for. It's Coin-Op TV Live! Starring Robert Welkner and the lovely Haley Bright. And now, keep it up for your host, Robert Welkner! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Coin Up TV Live on the Stream.tv. Robert Welkner here, your host. Episode 314. Very exciting show tonight. We've got Tony Janning, the star of Legend of Neo, in the studio. Let me give this applause sign for Tony. Woo! Very exciting. We got some interviews from PAX with the team behind Co Combat Arms. We've also got an interview with the Tron director that I did at the Disney Expo. A lot of pictures, a lot of catching up to do. It's been a few weeks since we've had a show. So we're very happy to have you guys back on in, in your in your internet living rooms tuning into us. Very exciting. So go into the chat room, the stream.tv, check things out. We love you. We're happy to have you here. And I want to introduce you to my team. <clears throat> Haley, let me do that again. <clears throat> I want to introduce you to my team. I don't know why I can't say that at the moment. <laughs> First up, my lovely co-host, the person who sits right across from me looking so amazing and extra amazing tonight in her new set, Miss Haley Bright. Hey, Rob, what's up? <laughs> I see why people applaud for me. You hold up the sign every time. I know, and then my sign just fell apart, too. I knew, I knew tonight's Aww. show would be a little bumpy, but uh, I didn't think I'd lose the applause sign. There we go. Let me do that one more time, because I don't think we got a full applause. My lovely and talented co-host, Miss Haley Bright. <laughs> well, I, I just want to give a shout out to Shane Benhausen for, um, uh, what would you say, like supporting or, uh, yeah, whatever, you tonight's up. wardrobe. <laughs> yes. I'm going to give you a little preview of my very cool uh, Muramasa Ooh. shirt. Awesome. It's a little scandalous. But it's pretty rad. And apparently the guy, what was it, the guy that did, did the game? Talk to me back while you're sitting there so I can hear you and see your pretty face. Did the design for the t-shirt, too. Uh, yeah, so that's a t-shirt for the Miramasa game come, that just came out on the Wii. Very cool game there. Very cool shirt. Now, thank Very you, Shane. Very cool shirt. And soft. <laughs> Make sure I do this. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, that wasn't funny. So, Rob, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing well, I'm doing well. I want to introduce Brian, then I want to get to the uh, the show and catching up on things. So uh, if you've seen the stream.tv, you know him, you love him. He's the guy who runs things and takes care of us, makes us all happy, Mr. Brian Gramo. Hello, hello. I, 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 uh, I, I will say I do have a, a video game things to report. I had a uh, thing that uh, people describe to me that they call it a vacation. Uh, it's a period of days uh, that are sequentially scheduled together in which you don't do anything. And uh, it was uh, really cool over the break. Uh, of course, I had to do something, and I downloaded uh, a, a walloping amount of iPhone games, uh, my favorite of which I highly recommend, uh, Stick Wars. If you have an iPhone and you have not tried Stick Wars yet, um, you basically uh, hang out in public and you look like this for about half an hour. <laughs> Woo! Brian Grammo, everybody! Yeah! yeah. Woo! Woo! Uh, and that's all the video game stuff I got right now. Back to you. That was very close to the uh, wax on, wax off there, Brian. You got, is there something else you can do with the other hand? Uh, well, you have to hold the iPhone with the other hand, and I found <laughs> that if you put it on its surface, uh, it's, just not, it's just not the same thing. So your left hand kind of is occupied, unless you're left-handed, and then I don't trust you. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, God. So, uh, Haley, we got photos, we got videos, we got everything like that, but we are a live interactive show, and I want to give a shout out to some of the kids at home. Haley, what's going on tonight over there on your side? All right, well, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Patrick Redknapp, our uh, correspondent in the UK. Dude, my friend is over in the UK right now. I think you should message me. I, I need to hook you guys up to hang out. And um, let's see, I want to give a shout out to Bottom Boy, Alora Star, Unknown Turtle, Vegas24702. Curtis AG, TJ Slipperman, dude, thanks for all the props on the internet. Uh, the DCD Loofer, I've never seen you in the chat room before. And let's see, Original Justin and Mac Attack and Busy Gamer. Very cool, very cool. All right, Haley, before we get to the events and the videos, I want to send a, a shout out and a warm sort of congratulations. Uh, you guys watched Coin Up TV, you might know our buddy of the show, Chris Glass, he just got married this week. Let me get the applause sign. 
He's, he's, he's in the studio. Brian, Brian, let's, uh, there you go. Turn around, Chris. I know, there you go. Wave, the camera's behind you. Brian, we have, and we have a photo of Chris and his new bride, Katia. There they are, the lovely couple. Wow, cute. So Look at nice, guys. Congratulations on that, Chris. Um, we're sorry to see you go, but very, you know. <laughs> We're never gonna hang out anymore. That's that's what I mean by that. So Haley, any words of advice for Chris? That is not true. Rob will hang out with you. I'll make sure he calls you tomorrow. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, words of advice? I don't know. Have fun and still come hang out with Rob and I. I'm not worried. They'll come hang out with us. Oh, you know, actually, I'm. Uh, I might be a little worried about this because um, uh, Chris. <laughs> Chris usually hangs out for the 24-hour marathon, so uh, I don't know if he can just nod to you, Rob. Is, is, will he be allowed to continue participating in the 24-hour marathons with us? Yes. In fact, he wants to know when the next one is so he can get away uh, for this marathon. The next one, uh, <laughs> the, the next break is like the third week in um, uh, the third week in August, so right before that, the last Friday, 24 hours, and uh, all the donations during that 24-hour period will go to the Epilepsy Foundation this break. So uh, look forward to that 24 hours and uh, helping <coughs> out uh, um, uh, charity at the same time. Very cool, very exciting. All right, Haley, let's get to the business at hand. We've been gone for a few weeks. We've been a going few. we've been going to some events. I got some photos, I got some video clips. I'm very excited. If you guys are watching the live show and you got questions, concerns, hit us up, let us know in the chat room or the instant messenger. It's the stream.tv all spelled out on uh, AOL Instant Messenger. Uh, so let's see. First, I'd like to start with the big one. We went to PAX in Seattle to represent Nexon America. Haley and I went up there to talk about Dungeon Fighter Online, their, their new game that just came out uh, this week on beta. And uh, so, Brian, let's see the photo. The first photo there should be in Haley and I doing our presentation up on the stage there. We had a crowd of at least 100 people. Uh, every performance, I guess, is it Haley, is it safe to say performance? I love our cool kid clothes, Rob. <laughs> We're looking very cool and spiffy <laughs> there. So we talked about the game for about 10 minutes, and then we passed out uh, about 100 T-shirts and beta codes, things like that. Very fun. And then Haley was talking a little bit about, uh, before the show here, about some of the parties and things like that we went to. Oh, I think we have a picture of uh, Haley and I and uh, at PAX at the show floor there, Brian. There we are with uh, Katamari. Dom. <laughs> I can keep doing that if you want. <laughs> and then uh, we got to meet our friends from Texas, Busy Gamer, Scott, and um, Aub Aubren, or Erwin, what's the guy's name? I forget. Haley, help me out. How can he possibly be your friend? No, I'm just kidding. Rob, can't remember anyone's <laughs> name. Rob forgot. Oh, okay, now I can tell a story. Yeah. Uh -oh. Well, what's his name? I'm not going to tell you. You have to remember. <laughs> it was like I gotta teach you to remember people's it names. was like on or on or something with an ing I'll let you think about it I'll tell you later Haley what'd you see at PAX that you liked you disliked you you loved uh best thing at PAX definitely the next on America booth because we were there <laughs> second best thing uh I don't know the, there's a lot of cool things the EA booth was really cool they had a lot of like neat stuff over there um I gotta think about this question. It that was a, was a loaded question. Rob. It was. It was a good chance to play Left 4 Dead 2, uh, Halo ODST. It was PAX is cool because it's like a fan. ODST yeah, dropping in. Left 4 Dead 2 line was huge. That, I wanted to get on and play, but Rob and I didn't have enough time. Yeah, we. Had I'm the, like, dude, can I just have like a free T-shirt? Because I don't have time to play your game. Yeah. yeah, it was very cool. It was very cool. And also, Brian, don't be upset. We slummed it up. We went to ufragtv.com, did a live show on Sunday from PAX. It was very fun. Thanks to uh, Shane and the gang for letting us uh, take over. That was awesome. Yeah, it was fun. We had a few guests on. They talked about video games and their new games coming out. Are we going to show some of those segments, Rob? I'm waiting to get uh, Shane's like isolating those clips, and then I'll I'll uh, put it on the site or something. You know, be Rob, cool. Rob, if I can nerd out for a second about Ufrag, um, I actually think the platform is pretty cool, and what they do. The, uh, I'm familiar with uh, multiple live streaming platforms, of course. And uh, for those of you that maybe have your own little Google AdSense, your uh, website people know about this. Google lets you just put ads somewhere. Uh, Ufrag actually lets you put your own Google banner code in there, so you can uh, make some uh, money that way, get some cash hold for uh, for beverages and uh, snacks and what have you. 
Yeah, yeah, it was very. It's, it was uh, it was a good it was a good time, and and props to the, props to them for helping us out. Um, and also, Haley, we were talking about the parties. Uh, we want to thank Hudson, the EA for Dead Space. Um, I got a Dead Space shirt. I, we may give away down the road. The Eve Online party, very cool. Um, we didn't get to make it. We we actually partied out so much we didn't get to make it to all the parties. So apologies. But whoever we met there, fans, friends, shout outs to you guys. Thanks yeah, for coming we out. Yeah, we met Suffocat. Yeah, that well, was cool. Well, and Ben. Yeah. Ben from Detroit. Yeah. I got to meet Zach and Chris from Michigan, first time. We met Yesenia. Yeah, we Yesenia. We met a lot of people. It was cool. Yeah, it was very cool, very cool. Haley, how are things going over there? Anybody uh, in the chat room have a question, concern, or anything for Bobby Welks of CoinOp TV? A concern? Yes. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Let me find <laughs> out. I don't know. I don't think they're concerned. So the rest of the week, so after after PAX went down, uh, Haley and I have been going to a lot of video game demonstrations, a lot of press events. Um, I went to, on Tuesday, I went to Namco Bandai, invited me out to check out Dead to Rights, Tekken 6, Katamari, We Cheer. I had a good time. I was playing Dead to Rights, Haley killing we people. You yeah, and right after, <laughs> yeah, right after that, I went over to We Cheer, and it's like with the Wii, and you're like doing the little, I was doing Avril Lavigne, and... You know, hey, hey, you don't you like were, your boyfriend. You were, you were what, Av Avril Lavigne? I was, I was we cheering. We cheering to Avril uh, Lavigne. All right. I, I need all another right. prop, another Wiimote prop. But it was fun. I'm sorry you missed that, Haley. But uh, then in the evening, we got to connect Tuesday for the big Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 press event. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Haley. It was awesome. That game was awesome. What would you think of, uh, you know, Activision's little event there on Tuesday night? Little, uh, yeah, just a little event, you know, only like really cool people in media were attending. No, it was awesome. It was so much fun. It was we got to hang cool. out with our friends over at Game Trailers a lot. That was cool. And uh, Josh from Astro Gaming was there because Astro Gaming was doing all the headphones for the event. Um, I thought it was awesome. Rob, what'd you think? You, I, I, sh I saw you get shot in the back of the head. I did. I'd get sh shot a lot. Brian, let's look at, uh, I took a picture. I got a picture of Haley and I at the um, Call of Duty red carpet, I guess you can call this. There we are, kicking it. And, uh, and then the next one is inside. I took a picture of the Totally Rad show, guys, as uh, Danny and um, Alex and Jeff playing Call of Duty. And you can see Josh's uh, headphones there that Haley was talking about from Astro Gaming. Yeah, the game looks amazing. Um, I, you know, for multiplayer, it's not easy for me because I'm not the best Call of Duty player. I, I kind of, I'm more of a campaign person. I like to run around and lone wolf a bit, uh, kind of hang out in the back a bit. But uh, graphics, everything is so smooth. It's so fun. It was almost like going to a viewing of like a Lamborghini. You already knew it was going to be amazing and awesome to look at. There is, so it was just like, ooh, there it is, glowing right in front of you. <laughs> no, it was pretty awesome. <laughs> and it lasted till midnight. Rob and I pr practically shut the event down. We were there till like, what, 11.45? Yeah, I, I never... I I'm never like, Rob... He's like, one more game, <laughs> pulling him off. No, I'm just kidding. You have to drag me away, drag me away. That's uh, that's the way it usually it is, like the Guitar Hero events. I'm like, I don't want to leave, I don't want to leave. So, It yeah. was really awesome. Yeah, it was very cool. So that comes out in November. Uh, we did an interview with Rob Bowling at that event. I'll chop that up and get it to you guys as soon as we can. We're a little backed up on video clips. Um, and right. then also, uh, last night, Haley and I went to the Need for Speed event, a uh, Need for Speed shift from EA. Uh, got to demo that. Oh, Haley, wait, I got my 3D glasses. Wait, wait. T Haley, tell me about the uh, Need for Speed event. Okay. <laughs> I guess you're going to... Uh, yes. No, the event was awesome. Need for Speed's a new game coming out. And Rob and I got to play it in 3D, so I got to put on some cool 3D glasses and drive in 3D. I mean, the remote was, like, extremely sensitive. And I'm used to, like, when I play race car games, I like the old school, like, arcade games where it's, like, really hard to turn the wheel. So I was, like, struggling a little bit. Everyone's like, wow, you're, like, a drunk driver. What's wrong with you? I kept running into the wall. I'm not so good. But it was really fun, and I kept hitting the wall a lot. And Rob hit the wall, too, so I didn't feel so bad. But it was pretty cool. Rob, what would you think? All right, so here I am. I got the tribute to Bo, Bo Ryan here with the uh, the Rad Nerd glasses. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, Brian, right. we got a photo of You're me playing. You're now in 3D, Rob. Yeah. We got a photo of me. Here's me playing um, Need for Speed Shift hey, in 3D. Hey, I took that photo. The, the Haley took of me, yeah. Very nice photo. And then here's Haley with the 3D glasses. Now, Haley, I that's look very it. confused. Is that Bono? <laughs> <laughs> now, Haley, you've got an interesting controller in your hand there. How did you control the game with that? Is that the new uh, Wii mode or the new Nutel? Yes, it was um, like control with martini glass in one <laughs> hand and driving gear in the other. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I tried. 
and I ran off the road. Yeah, it was good. Well, I'm not a big car. All right, I got to take these off now because I'm seeing myself like a million times at once. But I think it's kind of rad. I'm not. What? A kind of rad nerd. Like rad nerds. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a big car guy or sports game guy, but Need for Speed Shift looks great. If I'm going to play a car game, that's uh, that's what I'm going to go pick up. So it's out now. All these games are like out now or coming out soon. It's very exciting, Haley. So what's the next game coming out, Rob, that you're looking forward to? That's not already out and is not one, one that we mentioned already. Gosh, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2 just came out this week. Does that count? Were you at home playing it all week? Is that where you were? <laughs> no, I was prepping. All right, let's uh, let's. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I want to give a shout out to uh, Toad from All American Rejects. He's tuned Toad! in our show right now. What's up, Toad? Oh, uh, where's Toad? Like Germany, Dude, Canada, Atlanta. I don't know, but Toad, you know? I saw your buddy Nick <laughs> on stage with the Steel Panthers at the like the not the Key Club, but some one of those clubs over there. Like a few weeks ago, Steel Panthers are rocking out with their 80s hair. All of a sudden, Nick's on stage trying to jam with them. It was awesome. <laughs> you should have been there. I was like, is Toad here? But I guess you weren't. Toad said he was going to buy a, a coin up TV shirt and wear it to like one of the shows on that'd stage. That'd be awesome. So, so if you do that, that'd be cool if we can get a picture of that. Very we cool. love you long time, Toad. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Haley, I got a video clip from PAX from our, our friends at Nexon America. And uh, while you guys are watching this, if you get questions, concerns, Haley's gonna jump back and, and get, to, uh, get to you guys at home. But uh, so we were at PAX in Seattle. We interviewed Graham uh, with the uh, Nexon America team talking combat arms, a very cool first person shooter on the PC. So Brian, if we can roll clip A, and check out some combat arms. <laughs> This is Haley Bright with CoinOp TV, and we're in Seattle at the PAX convention catching up with Graham Kays, that was the producer on Combat Arms. Can you tell me a little bit about Combat Arms? Sure, Haley. So Combat Arms is an online first-person uh, multiplayer shooter that's totally free to play. Mm -hmm. uh, it has uh, hundreds of different real-world weapons. Uh, we've got uh, a dozens of, uh, at least a dozen maps, uh, seven different play modes. Uh, and it's all about the heart-pounding, intense, fast-paced action. How does Combat Arms stand out as a first-person shooter? Well, I think one of the great things about Combat Arms is we really embrace the online model in the sense that the game is very dynamic. We're making monthly updates to it, and so it's constantly changing. So it's like you can't say one thing about Combat Arms six months ago because the game has changed so much since then. We add new modes, we add new maps, and then the community grows and changes and uh, the nature of the community also determines what, what's good about Combat Arms because we include all the great community features that you expect from an online shooter like clan support, in-game messaging, all that's included in Combat Arms. So the community, the dynamic nature of, of, of our constant updates, Combat Arms is constantly changing and it's getting better and better every day. Yeah, I heard that you guys just added the quarantine mode just a few weeks ago. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Yeah, quarantine mode is our new uh, zombie versus human mode. Uh, it 16 player matches where randomly the f two players are chosen as the infected and their job is really to uh, go around and infect all the other players. <laughs> they just want to spread the infection and get everyone infected and the humans, they need to really team up and, uh, and use coordination and, and use the map to their advantage so that they can keep the zombies at bay. All right, everyone, that wraps it up for Combat Arms. I'm Haley Bright with CoinOp TV. We'll see you guys soon. Good job, Haley. Good job. Uh, we'll see you guys soon. And, and we come back, and there you are. There's Haley Bright sooner than later. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good time there? What do you think of Combat Arms? I, I really liked Combat Arms. It was, a, it was a great game. It's really good gameplay. I think that it's a great game for kids to jump online and check out, you know? Have you played it yet, Rob? I played some some before, like E3 and e and stuff like that. And, and the Next on America games are all free to play, so that's even, like, the coolest thing. So, yeah, www.nexon.net. Yeah, who can complain about a free game, <laughs> right? It's awesome. All right, Haley, let me, let me talk a couple more events. I got a Rob, that was the... Most awkward transition ever. Uh, okay, Haley. <laughs> well, I was looking at my notes. I thought the camera was on you. Maybe you're was so distracted by your cool Tennessee shirt that I got you. You guys like? How about the Tennessee shirt? Yeah. You guys into that? <laughs> wow, that was so sad. <laughs> I have no love in my own studio. See if the applause line doesn't go up, Haley. Nothing happens. Try it again. Who likes Tennessee? <laughs> that was yeah, weak. Mm. 
Thank you for the shirt, Haley. Awesome. Wait, Rob, who's your favorite college team? <laughs> do, did you do you know of college? <laughs> I see. We get you a silver set back there. You got you know your bit, your chair is taller than me now. Um, actually, nice. Rob, it's brushed aluminum, please. Brushed, brushed aluminum. aluminum. <laughs> I didn't even get my forehead shine before the show from Chloe. I thought you were looking pretty good tonight. I don't right. know. I didn't think you. Let's really go with that, that Brian Grammo. Everybody looking good, saying I'm looking good. So Rob. I you were at the Disney Expo. Is this you want, true? You want to talk Disney D23 yeah. Expo, Haley? I, were you hanging out with, like, what, Little Mermaid, Cinderella? What was there What's any... at the Disney Expo? All right, well, it was all... All right, well, I hung out with the Mad Tea Party. Brian, do we have proof of the Mad Tea Party and Bobby Wilkes? There we are. Nice! <laughs> they gave me a hat. They danced around. <laughs> they, they said funny things to me that I didn't understand. And uh, so, that, yeah, I went to uh, Anaheim uh, last weekend, I guess. Gosh, it's all kind of going into blur now. And uh, for the Disney D3, D23 Expo, it was, it was fun. It was four days. It was like the first time, you, if you're a Disney fan, you can go there. It was like a show for, like, all different Disney-related and ABC products. It was like a Lost Booth. There was uh, people from Dancing with the Stars there. I think, Brian, I think we have a slide from the Dancing with the Stars. There's Donny Osmond walking the red carpet for the Dancing with the Stars. Who? Um, Donny. <laughs> Donny Osmond, you know, from the Osmond. I'm oh, a little bit country, oh. a little bit rock and roll. Come on, Brian, get with it. Qua? <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and then another slide here. So I got Ooh, to. Oh, I see it in the preview. I see it in the preview. I can introduce it now, quick. I, Tron. <laughs> Ooh, pretty. So, so there I, I like your Flynn's Arcade shirt. Yeah, there. I, see, I'm I'm the guy. I'm the fanboy. I wear the shirt to the band that I'm gonna go see. <laughs> Much like when I met Tony at a screening, I wore a Zelda shirt um, to that screening. So it's That's true. That's just kind of creepy, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> what's what's creepy? Is Rob you guys... just gave me the look like I'm gonna kill you. So Haley, um, I got I got a video clip from uh, me interviewing the Tron director. But before I get to that, um, I wouldn't be a good co-host if I didn't bring you some goodies from some of the events that you don't get to attend with me. So um, I got this cute little Mickey. Aww. It's kind of hard to see on the monitor, but it says like uh, Disco Mouse, and it's like Mickey and Minnie dancing. He's cute. I like Minnie Mouse and Mi Mickey Mouse. So that's for you. Thanks. I love that brand, Junk Food. Yeah. Should I That's give you the, should I give you this would you get mad if I gave you the story? No, I want to hear it. So I was online. The line for the store was about two hours, I kid you not. So I called junk food up. Like I had the shirt in my hands and I was like, you know what, let me just see if they have this on the website, you know? Not that I don't like getting gifts for you in person or whatever, but I was like, let me call, because it's like a two hour line at the store, and I'm on the phone with a lady, she can't find it. I'm on the phone at least for twenty minutes. Turns out you can only get the shirt at the Disney Expo, so that's why they didn't oh, that's have awesome. it. So wait, did you wait a nah, sir do you did you like pay someone off you're like come on and they're in the front of the line oh i get it you probably uh you had mike do it you're like hey blank logo stand in line for two hours <laughs> one of my lackeys that's what we have that's what we keep some of the kids around for to stand in line 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 savers coin off tv is now hiring we need assistance come stand in line for us <laughs> All right, Haley, I want to show my Tron interview, and then I want to collect some questions, concerns from the chat room before we bring Tony out for the rest of the evening. So, Brian, if we can show, this is Steve Linsberger, the Tron's original director. Let's check it out. What's up, everybody? Robert Welkner here of CoinOp TV at the Disney D23 Expo in Anaheim, California. We're going to catch up with Steven Linsberger, director of Tron. Stephen, um, without question, the early 80s were the golden age of arcade games, and your film Tron was right in the middle of things. Uh, did you ever imagine what kind of impact the movie would have? Uh, I, I didn't anticipate the impact it did have, which is that it scared the bejesus out of people over the age of let's say 35 or 40 but that the younger generation would soak it up like a sponge i didn't know that at the time that the line was that delineated um between people that were ready for the digital digital age to happen and people that really sort of had a vested interest in hoping that it didn't happen 
So Tron Legacy has been officially announced for winter 2010 release with you credited as a writer. How big is your involvement with the sequel? I like to think of the new team as the team that pulled the disc from the stone. It is their film more than it is my film, and I'm perfectly happy with that. Um, they're the ones that are trying to translate what technology means to us today. They have to live with it. They grew up with it in a different era than I did. And I think my film, like I said in the meeting today, re re reflects a certain frontier attitude towards cyberspace, whereas this film, what they've done is, is brought a great deal of reality to it, some uh, you know responsibility and some understanding that I think is very current. All right, thanks, Steve. That wraps it up for Coin Out TV. This is Robert Welkner. We'll see you guys next time. Way to go, Rob! Looking good on camera over there. I had to slum it up a bit. But, uh, Dude, yeah, Blank Logo Mike responded. He's like, Haley, tell Rob he's the only 10 I see. Get it? Tennessee? Uh, um, like your shirt? Uh. Everybody's a comedian tonight but me, it seems. <laughs> By the way, Blank Logo Mike shot that video of that ah. interview. So. Rob, are you keeping score or something? Every time Haley says something, you like write a little mark down <laughs> He's there. like... One more mark of yeah. why I'm getting rid of you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hey, Brian, um, she's not here next week, so I'm kind of tallying up some little notes uh, of my own there for next week's show. Whatever. <laughs> ah, we're having a guest I am girl next week. Yes. I don't know who she is. I heard she's cute. Haley, what did people say in the chat room watching the Tron interview? Are they excited? You know, I was I was so excited to meet Steven and, and talk Tron, and I had like five minutes, and I was very nervous, but he gave some fun answers. Very exciting. Looking forward to Tron Legacy next Christmas. Mac Attack's wondering if you got to sit on the Tron bike. No, they have, it's like the, I don't know, Brian, if you want to cut back to the Tron bike picture, but it's like the character is like glued into the bike. There's no like coming out of that or anything. Oh. So, yeah, and then it's all roped up there. There's, it's Disney. The security was like mad. So, no touching the Tron bike. Anything else for me? Haley? Okay, Tumor 20. The guest I am girl should be Bo's wife. Ah, Tracy, yeah. <laughs> we'll have to do that at some point. We're getting like requests. Is Natalie going to be the super? Who's Natalie? <laughs> Rob, who's Natalie? I don't know, Haley. It's a c most coveted position where you're sitting. But let me <laughs> let me talk about the legend. My of Neil. question is, why didn't you steal the Tron bike? That's what Kick, Kick Liquid wants to know. I couldn't steal it. It was it was in the video game universe, and we live in reality. <laughs> <laughs> Maverick says you should well, point for you, Rob. Biggest, point for you. Yeah, biggest laugh so yeah, far. Yeah, that was your point there. <laughs> See, here's the thing, Brian. Tony, very funny guy. I got to milk all I can before he comes out because then the sh spotlight will sh shed onto him, shine onto him. <laughs> Maverick says we should make a CoinOp TV live movie. That'd be sort of funny, like behind the scenes of what really happens on CoinOp TV. It'd be pretty funny. All right, Haley, let me talk about our guest. The Legend of Neil star, Tony Jennings, excuse me, Tony Jennings is in the house. Uh, the Legend of Neil is a comedy web series about what happens when a slacker gets sucked into the fantasy world of Zelda. So, guys, let's give a big hand for Tony. Come on out. <laughs> Welcome. How you doing? I hope I didn't hype you up too much, saying that you're a funny guy. There's a lot there's, of pressure now. Yeah, yes. there's a lot to live up to now. Yeah, I didn't bring anything. Uh, you brought yourself. That's good enough. Um, I'm going to take notes as we go, too. Don't be intimidated. I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> well, good to see you. I'm a big fan. We had Sundeep on the show back in November, I believe, uh, talking Legend of Neil Season 1. Now we're in Legend of Neil Season 2. Uh, bring us about, tell us a little bit about the show and what's going on in Season 2. Uh, the show is about a, uh, a gas station attendant from New Jersey named Neil that, uh, through a magical happening that I don't need to go into the detail of, uh, gets sucked into the original Zelda game. Uh, the first season we see him kind of adapt to being there, he's hung over, and then he ends up beating level one, and now season two, uh, a lot of other stuff has hit the fan. He, uh, got to the store, the old man's still in it, the fairy, played by Felicia Day, is still in it. We did a musical. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the hey, last episode, pay no he got attention drunk. to the hecklers. Ah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> Brian's still doing that uh, 
thing up there with the video game. <laughs> uh, and then the last step, and that one, that one went over like a ton of bricks, huh? No? Callback humor from earlier? It's, <laughs> it's all right. We could put a laugh track in on the repeat. Okay, okay. Uh, in the last episode, he got uh, he was stuck in a pub, and uh, he got hammered with some moblins. All right. Now, guys at home, we want to remind you we're doing a live show. We want to get your questions, concerns for Tony. Haley will get those to, the, to us shortly. I just want to warn you, now, when Sundeep was on the show, everybody asked about Felicia. So mm -hmm. now that you're on the show, everybody's just going to ask about Sundeep. So Probably. just a warning. Yeah. Fair warning. But with that, I want to ask you this. I went to your IMDb page, and I was like, hmm, Legend of Neil, that's great. I don't see a lot of other things. <laughs> what's, uh, what's kind of your background? Where do you come from? Uh, Cincinnati, Ohio. Uh, yes. Yeah. No, calm down. Wait, yes. let me get the sign. <laughs> Cincinnati, Ohio. Yeah. Yeah. We got a lot of video game nerds in the house here. You know, they, they don't travel that much, so apologies <laughs> to you. Uh, and then uh, I moved to Chicago after college and did uh, improv and sketch and stage and all kinds of other stuff there for almost five years before uh, moving out to Los Angeles. Well, cool. Well, we're glad to have you. I'm glad you got involved with uh, with the show and everything. Um, I know you've been doing a lot. Of, speaking of traveling, I know you've been doing some traveling. You went to the Comic Con, mm -hmm. to the panel there. We saw you up at PAX. Um, what are people saying? What are they What are they saying when they come up to you? What kind of questions are you get? And how are things going at these shows and events? Uh, they're great. Uh, Comic Con, Connecticut, which was in Connecticut. Mm -hmm. uh, Do I need the sign for that too? No, no. no. Okay. Uh, and then yeah, PAX, which was most recent. PAX was great too. Uh, they're I mean they're asking you know. They want a DVD, which we definitely want to make, uh, so people can hold off on that. We're going to try to make that happen. Um, we actually met uh, a guy named Neil that lived in New Jersey that worked at a gas station. <laughs> and um, he was huge. He was like 6'5". And I'm glad he didn't uh, kick our... He wasn't upset. No, he wasn't upset at Okay. All. Um, no, they've been great. The, the, the turnout's been good. Our panels were great. We had a lot of people. Uh, we screened the episodes, and the, the response so far has been really awesome actually so very cool very cool now lucky us we've got a clip of the show i want to show that and then we're going to come back see what our chatters are doing in the chat room so this is uh can we set this up episode three what's so special about episode three season two uh it is a musical episode mm -hmm. um so take that as you will <laughs> uh and a lot goes down a lot a lot happens and all the favorite characters are in it and everybody sings and it's uh it's out of control it's great Okay, with that, Brian, let's uh, let's check out this clip from Legend of Neil, season two. I'm at the end of level two, but I'm not sure what to do. I don't know any way to win. This freaking boss has impenetrable skin. Try the sword, arrow, and candle. None of these weapons can handle this boss who slowly chases me around. Oh, wait, I have this bomb I conveniently found. I don't have a goddamn clue what the hell these triangles do. But I got it two of nine at last. Now on to level three to kick some blast! How did Link be the level two? My lord, he knew exactly what to do. I suggest we don't leave items on the ground that help Link when they're found. Silence, which will you insult me? He'll never be the level three. There are too many dead ends within, so Link will never win. Link will never win. By the way, sir, why are we singing? Well, it, it's fun. Yeah, I guess that's true. It is. Good stuff. Very funny, very funny, very exciting. Congratulations, season two. Thank you. Got picked up. Hopefully, you'll go six, seven seasons. How far can we go with this? Until we're like 50, you know? 50? And yeah, and Neil's got his, his kids in there, and <laughs> uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do it forever. <laughs> very cool. All right, Haley, I want to go over to your neck of the woods there and see how things are going. Are the kids going nuts? They got some questions from Tony for Tony? Yeah, they got lots of questions. Also, Sandeep's in our chat rooms right Ooh. now. Oh, oh show. man. Yeah. Uh, oh man! Is he heck, is he heckling? Well, Sundeep yes. was in the room going, uh, "Show the whole episode, why don't you?" Because that was a, you know, it was a pretty long clip. What are you saying, Brian? <laughs> All right, so what's <laughs> what? I'm saying these are web shorts, so it's like they're only like three minutes as it is, and I think we showed like a two minute clip out of like a yeah. three minute. I don't know how long that particular episode was though. All right, Haley, you got a question for uh, Tony? Yes. Hold on. Let's see what our first question was. 
This has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Fa wants to know, what's his favorite TV dinner? What? Do you have a favorite TV dinner? Um, <laughs> yes, uh, I do. There's a smart one. A uh, microwaveable dinner that's a uh, rice and bean Santa Fe medley that my girlfriend turned me on to. It's quite delicious. All right. Don't Just worry. Good. Now I have actual questions about gaming. All right. Well, that, oh, that was wasn't a real. That was a I take it back. I take it back. <laughs> it's still. <laughs> that was a filler question. All right, Haley, give me a real question for Tony. Tommy wants to know if you could be in any game besides Zelda, what game and why? So you're in the Zelda universe in this movie. Man. You get a choice to bump into somewhere else. What's what's on the menu? That's tough. Uh. I, I don't know. I think I'd probably have to say uh, Mike Tyson's Punch Out. <laughs> I, maybe, maybe just so I could train with the guy running behind me. Mac. Yeah, yeah, and his trainer. I don't think he had a name. Doc, maybe or Doc, something. Yeah. yeah. Doc. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Punch Out. Why not? You know. All right. Soda Popinski. You know, wear that. You know, little Mac outfit. And now, would you like to go up against Tyson or the reissued uh, white guy at the end? What was? What would they swap him? Mr. Dream. Do you um, know about the controversy? I do not. Yeah, they had the Tyson license, like, ran out, or they didn't want to pay him anymore, so then they swapped him out for, like, Mr. Dream, and it was just called Punch-Out. Oh, no that's longer. lame. Uh, no, I would want to go against uh, the uh, 1988 version of Mike Tyson <laughs> before, he, before he started getting arrested and hurting women. <laughs> oh, boy. Ooh. All right, Haley, give me one more, and then I'm going to go back to my list. What else you got for us? Ohio Slayer wants to know what your favorite Zelda character is. From uh, the game, um, is it a requirement to be a Zelda fan if you're in this series? I think so. All right. I mean, I, the original Zelda was probably me and my brother's favorite game. Uh, and a favorite character? I probably the uh, the centaur Lionel's things. The the guys that shot the laser swords and look like centaurs. I thought those things were pretty sweet. Very cool. Um, I got a I got a question from the forum. I'm going to read it so I can be specific here. Um, let's see, this came in earlier. Question from the forum. How can you keep a straight face while working with the legendary comic genius stylings of Mr. Scott Chernoff? <laughs> can you explain? Can you get into that at all? Uh, yeah, it's really uh, difficult, actually. Um, they, uh, w what I do is when the camera's not on me, I don't look at him. And when the camera is on me, I try not to look at him either, all which right. is something I try to do in general with Scott because... I just don't like him very much. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> now, Scott, Scott was on Coin App TV Live many years ago, before yeah. before Sundeep, and you know, back in the day, we had the Puppet Show. It's very fun, even before Haley's time. No, I, no, Scott's Scott's great. He uh, he really. The rest of the season, you'll see some good some good Gannon. We got some coming up at the end here. Yeah, very cool. I love it. I love the teaser. All right, Haley, tease us with another question over there. All right, let's see here. Um, I'm just getting the most random questions tonight. Knivesy's like, how tall is Tony? Maybe Knivesy's trying to steal you from your girlfriend. I don't know. Six five. <laughs> uh, uh, like five nine, almost five ten. That's probably the easiest question you've had so far tonight, right? It's been really. It was really easy. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Haley, give us a hard one. Derek H. When was the last time you got into a fight, and how did your Zelda experience help you? Uh -huh. I was trying to get you to bring the shield and the sword down tonight, Hell so we yeah, could see yeah. some props. Uh, Have you had to use some of your uh, leveling up? Uh, if it worked, that would have been great. Uh, last time I got in a fight, I don't know, it was probably it was probably in Chicago, after drinking <laughs> potion or something at a some man a bar. Uh, I don't, I yeah, I don't think I had any. Um, I didn't. If it was now, I think I probably could have used a wooden sword uh, and maybe had it with me the whole time. But I, I know I got my butt kicked pretty good. I didn't know what to do. If so, if I could have pulled out like a remote and started, you know, controlling mm -hmm. myself. And some, you know, no, that doesn't make sense, does it? No. <laughs> I have more questions. <laughs> All right, Haley, what do you got? Yay, hold on. <laughs> this is a good one. Doc Brown, what was the funniest costume malfunction on set? If there was a fun, a, a moment of this, what was the funniest? Um, besides the tidy whities in general, <laughs> um, I think uh, the old man robe, um, because I don't, I don't know if Mike Rose, who plays the old man, I don't know if he's naked underneath it. <laughs> um, I don't think he is. You can't really tell. But um, when he moves in certain angles, it, it, it looks like he could be. And <laughs> um, yeah, is that something the censor should be looking out for? Maybe. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> and to follow up with that, um, do you have a favorite? So season one and two, do you have a favorite sort of episode or scene or just you know when your parents, your grandparents come to town, you're like. 
Look, let's watch this. This is the best part. Uh, I think my grandparents have only seen the musical episode. <laughs> okay. Uh, I don't think they'd understand the opening. Um, <laughs> I, my favorite episode is probably the second one from the first season when he first finally kind of has to fight and gets bloodied up by the Octoroks. Um, for the second season, it hasn't happened yet. It's uh, The last two are my favorite episodes the, probably overall. Very cool. Any any little uh, extra teaser information you'd like to share with Sandeep ho- hovering in the chat room yeah, watching he's hovering us? Yeah, probably sent, trying to censor <laughs> me. Uh, no, a lot of a lot of a lot of unexpected uh, things happen. There's a couple surprises at the end, and uh, you know maybe not what you would expect. And like I said, a lot more um, Ganon than we've ever seen. So that's okay. all I'm gonna say. And no, no uh, penis jokes or cuss words, uh, which is a lie. <laughs> Haley, tell me the truth out there. Give me another question from the chat room. Let's see. Uh, BusyGamer.com. I, I know I'm going to botch this word, but um, he wants to know, can you actually play the ocarina? It's a musical instrument in the Zelda game. A little flute there uh, to Zelda play. Link plays, excuse me. Um, no, but I played the recorder in the sixth grade. Um <laughs> That's as close as I got oh, to that. Oh, dude. Sandeep's like, Haley, stop ignoring me. Oh. That sounds, that's, that's okay. sounds. Is this like being uh, on the set here? That's so I have a question from <laughs> Sandeep. <laughs> he wants to know, was it awkward? Wait, it went away. Hold on. Was it awkward filming the show after you and Sandeep's messy public breakup? Uh, luckily, he is a true pro. Um, and so it never got messy for the crew and everyone else involved. Um, I'm crossing my fingers that he'll take uh, me back someday. And then apparently from uh, a previous question, do you have a, an enormous crush on Sandeep? Uh, yes. Uh, yes. I, it's obvious. I mean, it's really the only reason I'm doing this. I've, <laughs> I've, I, it's ever since I saw him on the, the Guild, which was after I had already met him, but after I saw him as Zeb on the Guild, I, I really I, I just couldn't help myself around him. It's, I mean, come on. He's a sexy man. Yes. Let's face it. <laughs> let, me, let me give him a mark there. Sexy man. <laughs> Haley, you got anything else for us? Bo Ryan, who's in our room. They always find a way to eye him in their questions. I'm like, you're sitting right beside me. Um, what was it like kissing Princess Zelda? Oh, we got a little makeout scene in one of the episodes. Uh, it was uh, about what you would expect. Um, you know, she was a princess, and uh, I had a bunch of fake blood coming out of my nose and mouth, so it was... Pr- <laughs> Again, very professional. Uh, the whole set of everything Legend of Neil is professional. It screams <laughs> professionalism. Didn't you say in your email that requesting the shield may be too much of a ham it up? And yet we haven't been serious all night here with this. It's true. It's true. I probably should have brought the shield. <laughs> you you had concern. Questions coming your way. <laughs> all right, Haley, we got time for a couple more. Okay. Um, the Low Strikes Back wants to know: Do you guys have any spinoff ideas for the show? Ah. Um. I mean, yeah, we've talked about it. I don't know if it's anything that would happen soon, but yeah, we've talked about uh, other other games that we could parody and uh, other video games that a guy could get sucked into, like Donkey Kong and some others would be a lot of fun. Um, so yes, we've, we've talked about it, but we don't have anything planned in the immediate future yet. All right, Haley, give me one more. B Kitty wants to know, who's your favorite character co-star? Mm, that's tough. Uh, I'm gonna probably have to go with uh, I'll probably have to go with Wizrobe, Eric Acosta, the guy who plays Rant- Ganon's right-hand man, Wizrobe. Oh, yeah, prob- very, very clever actor. He's probably my favorite character, especially the, the last episode of this season. Um, he's hilarious. And so. we got to see some of his singing prowess. Yes, his beautiful and, singing voice, yeah. Also a former Chicago there. guy there, too. Mm-hmm. So before I wrap you up, I, we went to the press screening, and I saw three episodes in a row with an audience. It was a whole different experience than watching it on the web and like multitasking and things like that. Um, you know, wh- like when the DVD comes out or whatever. I mean, like what's the what's the can can we ever do like a screening where we have a marathon or something? Because it was just a hoot watching it with like an audience. It was like just a whole different experience. Yeah, no, it was it was it was great. Um, yes, sure, let's organize that. Let's do a huge screening with <laughs> a bunch of people. Um, no, we 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 want to do a DVD. We were we've been asked by fans uh on the forums online at pax at comic-con at connecticut um so yeah we would love to do that because yeah seeing it in front of a live audience of 200 or like 500 people in comic-con is pretty amazing Mm -hmm. um because everybody's already a fan and then just the room erupting in laughter for you know the goofy stuff that we're doing is pretty great (laughs) very cool Haley. before we wrap things up anything else on your end i got a lot but this is a great question it's from Derek h and he's like which zelda characters do you think would be a good fit for rob and Haley?" Oh, like who would you be? Yeah. Wow. 
uh, from the original uh, Zelda, uh, which is the one I know most about. Um, Rob, you could probably be a, uh, I'd imagine a, um, well, Ganon, right? Ganon? Of, of course. Right, because you, and then um, uh, Haley, I, I'm assuming Haley would be, uh, you know, uh, Zelda. I'm, I'm a, you know, because you're, you're keeping her against her will. Let me get the applause sign. Right? Haley is Zelda. Nice. Because there's only other, there's only one other woman in the, that original game, and it's old woman. So. Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, Tony. How do we watch the show? What's the best way to get our eyeballs watching The Legend of Neil? Uh, you can go to Adam.com, A-T-O-M. Uh, you can go to LegendOfNeil.com, which is spelled just like it sounds. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> And, yeah, those are the two. Those are the two right there, yeah. Very cool. Now, uh, for those in Los Angeles, special treat. You guys are doing something tomorrow night, I believe? Yes. I'm in an improv show called Hammer Don't Hurt Em with uh, Sandeep Parikh, and I think Felicia Day might be there tomorrow night. I don't know for sure. And it's also got Alex Albrecht, and um, whose name I think I just said wrong. Tara Perry's in it, Brooke Sagan, a bunch of great uh, improvisers, Jeff Lewis from the Guild. Um, and we're doing that tomorrow night at 9 o'clock at the Met Theater which you can find online or go to Facebook camera. Don't hurt them. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Well, Tony, I want to thank you for uh, coming down and I can't wait to see the big surprises for the rest of season two here and uh, checking things out. Haley, uh, thanks again. I hope you had a good time over there enjoying your new set and bossing me around most of the night. Yeah, it was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I want to thank uh, Brian Grammo and I want to thank everybody in the studio who came out to uh, hoot and holler and cheer and uh, Chloe and Jared for helping Woo! out. Woo! Guys, we'll be back with CoinUp TV live next week. It's Thursday nights, 8 o'clock Pacific time on the stream.tv. Come, come back again on a weekly basis. Lots of fun episodes coming up. So uh, when we're not here, we miss you. When we're here, we love you. That's all for me, Tony. We're out of here. We'll see you guys. Woo!